Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm still going to try to build up some more coins so that I can play Jumpstart. In order to do that, I have to complete some quests, and today's quest is 20 white or red spells, which you've seen this series before, you probably know what I'm going to play. Uh, but first, I see that a friend of mine is online. This is a uh, blind player of Magic the Gathering. I met him back, I, oh, what's his name, what's his actual name, not his tag. Ah, I met him back at one of the uh, Star City Games Opens. I bring a melee set up every time I go nowadays, or at least to the one in Atlanta. And he came to sit next to me, and he played Bowser, and I was wondering, why why is he hitting me? Why, why is he having a hard time staying on the stage? And then he told me, yeah, he's blind. So, uh, oops, <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Uh, this was back before Ultimate was out. Um, so I told him about some fighting games like Street Fighter, like Killer Instinct, Street Fighter V, uh, KI2. I think there's some others where uh, you can actually use audio cues. If you turn the music all the way down, turn the sound effects up, you can you you can play by audio. So uh, the, there's a Street Fighter player, a, a Ken player, I think, named Sven, who you know he he gets to be the one permitted flowchart Ken. Everybody else is, is is just bad, but he's blind, so he gets he gets away with it. All right, but yeah, he's play, he's blind playing Street Fighter. That's awesome. Even Smash Four had a blind wizard who played Corin, Toon Link, and somebody else, and was like le 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 legitimately blind. <laughs> I was about to say le legitimately and legally. I don't know how that happened. All right. Uh, so we haven't seen from him yet. If you've never actually seen Blind Wizard actually win a match, uh, it's it's pretty crazy. It's it's some of the hypest I've ever been in in a fighting game. So we're gonna wait for a, or not gonna we're gonna play a game and then we'll try it again later. So because it's a white quest, we're going to play our Soul Soldiers deck. And actually, before we uh, take a look at it, I've made some changes to the deck. So I only have three healers, Hawks. I do like the one Law Rune Enforcer, but it should probably be another Healer's Hawk. I just don't have another. And while I now have the wild cards to spend on it, I'm going to try it again with Law Rune Enforcer, just as a one of. This does obviously turn on a Johnny's Pride Mate, which is what you have it for. A Four Soul Warden instead of a Johnny's Welcoming, because this is a creature. And one Shadow Spear Steel still provides Trample, Lifelink, uh, both of which really make a Johnny's Pride Mate happy. So we have, obviously, the four copies of this. We have two Dexos. It's legendary, so I don't want to go too overboard, but it gives me, effectively, two more copies of Soul Warden, and it also serves as a pretty strong blocker. Also, when a creature, another creature dies, uh, then it, it triggers, so it's, it's a little bit better. Uh, Seal Away for removal, a Battalion Foot Soldier, and Legion Conquistador are effectively the same card. Uh, they enter the battlefield, you search your library for any number of cards with that same name. They're Squadron Hawk, basically. Except for one more mana, one more point of power and toughness, and you lose flying. So there there were Squadron Hawks, but they're they're fine. Uh, we're, I, mean, I still have one Mentor of the Meek, which honestly probably needs to go, and I think I actually will drop it after this. I haven't spent the wild cards on Thalia yet. So maybe I spend one here just to... Because you can't get Thalia without spending wild cards anyway. At this point, I probably should. So we'll take out Mentor. Now, one interesting interaction with this is that we, we have four heraldic banners. In just the battlefield, choose a color. Creatures you control the chosen color get plus one, plus oh, period. And then it makes mana for you. You might think, well, wait a minute. You run so many of these. Shouldn't you just... You have to run Mentor of the Meek, right? And yeah, maybe. Maybe, but unfortunately with Heraldic Banner, it actually gets them out of range uh, because it's not looking at their base power and toughness. It's their power and toughness when they enter. So, and, and I can't not run Heraldic Banner. It's it's a better card for what we're trying to do. Uh, it gives more mana and it gives a buff. Uh, that's what we really care for. Uh, so Mentor actually probably should go, and in its place would go, say, Athalia, which does hurt us a tiny bit. I mean, we have not so much Shadow Spear, but we and Seal Away. We have Banner, which does give us mana, though. We have a Johnny Tribunal, which it doesn't really hurt for because Convoke. Uh, and then we don't have Settle the Wreckage anymore. So maybe take out Mentor and put in Thalia. 
uh, and then one God Eternal Ketra. Uh, because, I mean, just look at that. We, this is like a better Mentor of the Meek in the sense that it counts, it triggers based off our creatures being cast, but you don't spend mana. It, it doesn't, they aren't turned off by the rest of the deck. It does make black zombie warriors with Vigilance, so unfortunately they wouldn't benefit from Heraldic Banner, but since we get almost an unlimited number of them, I mean it certainly feels like it, uh, then it's it's probably okay. Only counts on cast, so tokens entering the battlefield from Memorial, uh, not so much. Now, this should be Castle Arendelle, at least one, but I don't have any yet, somehow. I haven't managed to pull them, and I'm trying not to spend wild cards. 14 planes, 2 blast zone, 4 cryptic caves, uh, as a way to draw myself out late in the game. Uh, so that's the deck right now. I'm actually going to try it again with the Mentor before I, well, you know what? I'm going to have to pull the trigger at some point, so we'll, we'll do it now. Uh, we'll sort by not collected as well. Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Just add one, craft it. Yes, I, I know it's not playable. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Take out Mentor and see how this treats us. Uh, just one because she's legendary and I don't want to burn too many wild cards. I, I'm mostly saving them for lands, especially lands that are about to rotate where I won't be able to get them except through this. In other words, shock lands. They help me to brew more decks in Historic and brew decks for like Michael 1916's content creator brew off. Uh, it may still be in a game. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it for now. Sorry bud. Or maybe Arena's on, he's just not at his computer. Hmm. Sumatra. Iron Blood. Haven't played against you yet, but that is a pretty metal name. Just a little bit. Alright. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So we start off with Soul Warden. The next turn we go Soul Warden Law Rune. Oh, hi. Okay, cool. Actually, in this case, yeah, we still do Law Rune. Well, we could do Shadow Spear. It's fine. We'll play Law Rune. And we don't attack. No, no, we don't. Visionary, okay. It doesn't matter for this next turn, but theoretically I should have one on their upkeep. It doesn't matter for this next turn because I'm going to play Conquistador. And then just refill the hand, thin the deck, all that jazz. Take action. One, two, three. So what you normally would try to do is tap one, tap Visionary down uh, later on to try to deprive them of some mana. If they have Arch Druid, you do the same thing. Arch Druid. Oh, jumpstart. Yeah, you're an elf. Incubation Druid's an elf. Look at our life total. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Song of Freilis. Okay. So, things I can do here. Creatures you control. Okay, cool. Uh, we're still going to put this up on their upkeep. I'll play Conquistador. And then La Rune Enforcer will tap down Visionary. Or maybe, maybe I'm supposed to tap down Druid, actually. Yeah, I think it should be Druid. Um, yeah, it's, it's fine. Alright, so that does mean I'm giving up the Shadow Spear, unfortunately. Alright, next. Cool. Alright. Tap this down. Alright, and let them draw. And what's this? Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Oh boy. Oh boy. I mean, they're little, but still. Okay, I'm hoping that that put a hamper on their plans, but they still have seven mana, so in all likelihood, no, it didn't. Alright, we'll do this again. Yay, it gets huge. Huge, I say. Alright, cool. And then I could play another Conquistador. 
or I could play out the Shadow Spear and tap down one of their creatures, which seems like the better play. Can't it? I mean, I could equip it now, I suppose. Let's see. Do I... Oh, I can make them lose indestructible. Yes, okay. So then we'll pass the turn. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Eh, that's better, that's better. Alright, so they adapted into it. Fair enough. Alright, so once again, tap their creature down, as you do. So they're floating the mana. We'll see what for. Ooh. Oh, that's an instant, that's right. Greatest power. Alright, yeah, that resolves. Oh man. That's not ideal. It's going to take something oh, to save me here. Let's see if they attack. Uh oh. Uh oh. They lose indestructible. There. There. And there. Alright. Let's see if they have a pump. They might, actually. They legitimately... Ah! Nice. You had the second one. You sure did. Okay, that was pretty sick. That was pretty cool. Le legitimately, that was awesome. Well, we're not dead yet, and we still have a quest to complete, so we'll keep playing. But, it's no bueno. It's not looking good. Alright. Uh, no. I'll say no. Oh, wait. You can't... There we go. There we go. We're not dead yet. I'm not dead yet! Oh, man. Oh. Well, okay. What could four be? Armor crap. Oh. I have to compliment them on that. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we're not building our way back from this. I I have a sneaking suspicion we aren't. What could the next what could the best play be coming next turn? If I had like a battalion into play another battalion out? Alright. Guess we'll put this into play. Then there we go, gain some life, as you do. Decline. Alright, equip to doesn't matter, we're not attacking this turn. And put that stop on. Alright, once again we'll do this. Tap you down. Oh good. Okay. Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Whale. Whale. Nice. Okay, this is legit. This is a this is a combo turn. Elves is such a fun deck. Just look at that. Look at that eminently playable monstrosity. There's nothing about this I don't love. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Whale. Oh jeez, they're not even bothering to attack. Well, that's not great, I suppose. Uh, huh. So we'll hang on to that. Pass the turn. Oh, you know what, genius. I forgot. I guess I might as well tap you down. Better late than never, I suppose. But it's not ideal. Now they can spend that. What are they waiting on, too? Just attack. Just hit me. Yeah. That's what I get for forgetting to stop. I'm just waiting for Crater Hoof to come. It it will be here. It's just a matter of time. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just playing for funsies. I'm letting my opponent combo off, and... Oh, it's great. Look at this. Look at this. Feast your eyes on this. And then they get to draw another card, and then... Yeah, there we go. And notably, this is when you cast a creature spell. Not when it enters the battlefield. <laughs> oh, this is great. That's something you don't hear all that often. I'm getting beaten. This is great. Alright, my win condition is my opponent, uh decks themselves out. I guess I should just pop the memorial so that I don't have to worry about the fuse. That's okay. Yep. I mean, they know I'm going to do it. I'm trying to think if there's anything that they can do. Yeah, we'll, we'll just pop it now. Ta-da! Alright, cool. Gain a ton more life. Doesn't matter. Oh, can I get one more life, please? Exactly one. Totally matters. We need a card that says if your life total is 49 points higher than your starting life total. <laughs> okay. Why are they. What is going on? Why are they waiting? I legitimately don't know the answer. Oh, yeah, so we'll play this so that we can equip... Oh, wait a minute, that's one. Okay, good, good. We, we have some time. No. Alright. Now I don't have the mana. Hey! Hey, bud! Actually, let me... Oh my god, look at that. Okay, uh, that's amazing. Good game. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see how, we, how low we get this. Four twenty. Oh, we did four twenty. That's okay. That was sick. That was sick. I dig. I, there's everything about that I loved. <laughs> okay, that was cool. That was super cool. Alright. Now, let's jump in. Alright. Um, historic? Or standard? Or something else? If he says Brawl, I don't have a standard Brawl deck put together. I have a historic Brawl deck put together, and it's, it's dumb, but I do. I do have one. Right, I'm, I'm good with whatever, though. Might actually just play that. I don't actually know if you can use direct challenges to accomplish quest. But there is one change that I would like to make really quickly. So... Let's go into our... Wait, you know what? Probably faster just to... Standard. I have Spicy Nuburu. Okay, we'll, we'll do this later. It's adding a Johnny Tyrant, uh, but I need to decide what card to take out. But we'll do, we'll do Standard. Standard then. Okay. Um, well, what's my go-to? Jump on Discord. Uh... Oh. For the mic? Hmm. Actually, that'd be interesting. I've yet to test it against control, so that is like my biggest fear right now. 
I guess technically I'm a control deck. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Uh, let me let me shoot you a challenge real quick. Yeah, where did he, well? There it goes. Aha! All right. So standard v standard. Let's give this a shot. Let's give this a go. Oh. Yeah, I, I literally just made it to gold with this deck, so I have no idea oh, nice. what it's, what to expect. So. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. So I have no idea what to expect, because like, I'm like, alright, I can beat Mono Red, but what is everything else I'm going to play against? So, because of my internet, and people watching my channel have seen this, my, uh, my internet is terrible here, I can't really play ranked. Because, you know, if you, if you drop out, if you disconnect from a game, then you lose your rank. Yeah. So, yep. once I get to silver, it, it feels like every like, fourth game I have connection issues, and then I just can't, you know, I, I lose my spot, so... Because of that, until the internet gets better, I'm, I'm shut off from ranked, which stinks because paper tournaments aren't a thing here, so <laughs> what can you do? Right? Yeah. That is like the worst thing right now. So I was telling people about the time that you and I ran across each other. You, you came up to me back at one of the SCG Opens, uh, at, when, back when I was I doing the Melee the, setup. Uh, I believe it was the Atlanta Open right when Dominarian released. That's it. Yeah, it had to be Atlanta because I, I brought the melee set up. I, when it's an Atlanta yes, event, I always always bring my melee. And uh, yeah, I remember you played Bowser, and that was... Oh yeah, let, let, this, this resolves. That was fun. <laughs> and uh, Bowser is honestly my easiest like character because he's so big, I can yes. focus on some point of Bowser. That's true. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I didn't think about it that way. Alright, so now it's time for my deck to start being mean. I apologize, uh, but, but here goes nothing. Um, so we go and get that. Eeny, meeny, miny, that one. So I guess it's kind of a controlled... Oh, God. <laughs> that, that slows me down a little bit. Yeah. That slows me down a lot, actually. Okay. Oh, dear. That is a very unique card. Yeah, you don't see that too often in Standard. Back when I was playing ranked, the highest I got to was gold with this. So, you know, as you do. <laughs> Just off the free wins, unfortunately. Yeah, and spoiler alert, Kefnet is serious business in this deck. Yeah, it, it really is, because I did not expect that. <laughs> that kind of threw me for a loop. Once you get to six mana with this, Kefnet reads, destroy two lands. Uh, let's not? Let's not do that. Um, Kefnet reads, destroy two target lands, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's silly. You, you get to play double stone rain on a single card. There's a reason they're not printing any... They're, they're, unless they get spoiled coming up, there isn't any land destruction coming into the next standard, which is a good thing. We lose, what, like, Rubble Reading, Demolish, Tech Rift, Ravager Worm. There, there aren't any lands other than Field of Ruin that you can loop with... Ah! Okay. Okay, so let's see. X is 1. In a game, interesting. Okay. Uh, yes, I think that's good. I think that's okay, unless I'm missing something. Um, but in the meantime, we I are going to. I would gonna... rather take three than four. I believe you. <laughs> I I believe you. So let let's see. Actually, let's uh take a look at your graveyard. And it was a Zagoth Triumph. Okay, so cool. That's the. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> oh no. Uh, in that case, any mini miny. This is standard, so island, I guess, and then pass turn. Wasn't quite sure which one to hit, but I guess blue since it gives you. Oh God! Well, here goes, and so it begins. So uh, yes. yeah, when Kevnet reveals one, it's kind of. <laughs> it's a very technical magic term. That 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 hurts a lot. Uh, I'll swing for a bit. Uh, Kefnet punches in the face. That's what he does. Uh, and then... He does. 
If I'm not adding oh, Groot at a hand, there's maybe a reason. What's up? Uh, I'm just like hoping top deck land, top deck land, <laughs> so I can top deck land. <laughs> I can throw you down a turn. Uh, I've got, I've got bad news because you know the rubble reading's already in my hand. So then he does it again. Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> yep. And so at this point, yeah, it is just a control deck. Um, yeah. There's that. This is a very interesting control deck, though. <laughs> I, I, hats off to you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> like, land destruction control. That, that's that's a new land, a way to look at it. I Whenever I, I brew in standard, which of course I've been doing more with, you know, the format being what it is, I always try to make some of my mainstays show up. Uh, Turbo Fog, Land Destruction, the closest thing I can find to Infect. So, you know, th this is what we have right now. <laughs> uh, in Historic, I've tried uh, Turbo Fog with, uh, what's his name, Reese the Redeemed. You know, so you, let, you fog until you get to where you have enough mana to make infinity tokens. Oh no. Oh no. If it sounds like I'm talking a lot, I am recording, so I'm I'm not trying to be. Oh no 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 no! I, oh no no no! You're fine. I I'm very interested. I'm more like watching this deck play. Cause I'm like, oh, wonder what else is in it. <laughs> I like if you don't mind. I only see the one card in your hand. Yeah, could I uh, could I play you again? But I'll do like a different deck for the next one because I want to see what your deck does. Well, well, if you notice, how many colors have you seen? Uh, five, I believe. It was five at the time I, that, or maybe it was four. I'm missing see. one. Oh yeah, no! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh dear, it's the Zagoth Triumphant Mountain. Um, oh, fair enough. Fair no, enough. it's actually there for the green. Oh, okay. Actually, despite it, yeah, everybody goes. It's there for a mountain. I'm like, honestly, no. Oh, They're I like what? People are like, what do you need green for? I'm like, well, if I get it, and we actually run three spicy cards that all need double green for. Ooh. I, worm. Yeah. I, I meant the, uh, at the time when, like, I was checking your graveyard for what colors you had. You had, uh, Zagoth Triumph in the yard, and then you had, uh, Mountain Swamp Island, I believe. And so I was checking to see what color <laughs> I needed to blow up. But yeah, you're right. That's, that'll do it when you're missing a color. <laughs> es no bueno. That's no fun. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try a different deck. Oh. I, I, I will have to talk to you about that list. That is a very, like, that's a very quick <laughs> land destruction. I, I I like that. That is spicy. <laughs> it's, when it works, it's so silly. It is one of the better if you go on the play decks that I've I've played. It's, uh, because if you go first, you can blow up, the, you can get to four mana on turn three and then just blow up a land, blow up a land, blow up a land. Um... <laughs> And then hopefully you have a late game and they don't. That's the idea. That's the hope. Uh, it can lose to going second and not being able to stop them before they get their power play out. Or if you just run out of gas. You can blow up their lands, but if you stop finding land destruction and you don't find a win condition, they can they can still beat you. So it's certainly not impervious, but that game, it, <laughs> it did what it needed to do. Yeah, that's... That went quick. I was like, alright, cool. Yeah. I've got gift to paradise. Alright, I'm in a cool position. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm like, <laughs> nope. oh, there goes, oh, goes that land. Yeah. Garuda <laughs> is really important to the deck for that reason. It gives you a win condition that's always readily accessible. So when you do reach that late game, you can eventually just play it. Hopefully it resolves if you destroyed all their blue mana. And, uh, and there you go. Uh, but another weakness of the deck is that it only has 10 creatures in the main board, which is probably too low for Garuda. Now granted, three are Kefnet, two are Ravager Worm, one is Sphinx of Foresight, and four of them are Paradise Druid, so it's not the best Garuda deck, um, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I'm That's trying so to thread the... Creatures, but that yeah. is very interesting. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, I shot you a, a challenge, I'll, I'll play a different deck, okay. I, there's another one I kind of would like to try out. It's a little bit suboptimal. I, I know what I need, I just haven't spent the wild cards on them because they're about to rotate, so I'm I'm a little unsure about uh, doing that now. Uh, but yeah, let's let's shoot this one out against you. If I had seen you were going to be online, I would have 
thrown together another deck real quick. That, w- that would have been I'm interesting. Ah, uh, oh, mm, fair enough. Okay. Let's try it. What could go wrong? <laughs> All right. Might as well pop it now. Like honestly, my new favorite card. I used to love evolving wilds and standard, but ever since Fable patches, I'm like, oh, it's so much. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Like, me- uh, and how much is it now? Because I, I remember for a while it was pretty expensive in Pioneer, right? Because of Pioneer, I should say. I think. Yeah, and then they reprinted it, and I think it went down. Like, ah. I think it's like only like two bucks now, if I remember correctly. Okay. I mean, I, I guess that's a good problem to have. All right, let's see what you're trying to do. Uh, so Skull Prophet, just a nice little two-mana ramp creature that's going to die <laughs> in just a second. Dies to, like, what? Scorching Dragonfire? Dies to... Ev- oh! Oh, that w- <gasps> oh, it's an inventory deck. Oh! <laughs> oh, I dig it. Where, did you see that uh, workshop they did where it took off the limit for how many cards you could have in a deck, and so you could have 15 frantic inventories? Yes. Uh, I was, like, really excited about that, and then I was like, wait, <laughs> why is this a thing? Because when I was building this, I accidentally clicked it, like, more than four times. I was like, wait, why yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if this resolves. I don't know. I, c- I can only hope so. Shark. Oh, we have a shark! <laughs> oh, Shark Typhoon. I uh, I actually got destroyed by that in Vintage not that long ago. Um, guy was playing a land still deck, and Shark Typhoon, the ability, isn't casting a spell, so you can play standstill and you can still play creatures through it. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's really, like, broken. Hmm. Kudos to you. That, that, card is, <laughs> that card is great. Oh no, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> and don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> I can't help it. All right, well, in that case, ooh, actually this hand suddenly turned terrible then. Um, well, let's try this, I guess. And I'll oh wait. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Let it be. All right. Let's mill two while we're at it. Might as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh no! Even more cards. Oh no! And those are cards I would have liked. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, well, in that case, let's see. I guess we'll go to combat, swing, make you block the assassin. This isn't usually how I, I want to use that card, but I guess it's what we have. I guess we'll take it. Yeah, it's got to be both, unfortunately. I like that, because you've got to choose which one you're going to kill. That's right, yeah. There's a... Uh, you haven't seen it yet, but there's supposed to be uh, some shenanigans, shenanadoos that I can do with uh, power increasing effects, so that, you know, you give it death touch and increase its power, and it can just kill any number, you know, as many as you'd like <laughs> when it gets big enough. Yeah, it becomes like a silly two for one, three for one, four for one, but we haven't, we haven't seen any of that yet. Alas. I shouldn't really give away what my deck is doing. I appreciate all the insight. <laughs> yeah. So. Hey, 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 YouTube, take a look at this hand. Look at this beautiful... Oh, God! <laughs> okay. Beautiful hand. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Well, better late than never, I guess. Um... How about you, into you, there's that buff. That's uh, a very cool buff. I, I like it. I'm a little biased, but I like it. It's legitimately one of my favorite cards to brew with, 
in standard right now. It's not great, obviously, but just to brew with, it's it's fun. The the deck I was going to try to put together had I known you were on, and I'll I'll build it for next time so that we can. Oh God, no! <laughs> you stop. <laughs> no, you get this. Is the yeah, that's that right. Works. That's right. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Well, I mean, do it now before you, you get a chance to do anything with it. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. One time I'm going to be like, hey, please, Assassin Truth. Right. Oh, but so? that means you have... your uh, Except for white, yeah. You, other than that, you have your colors. Wait, you said this does have white? And you just haven't found it? Or it doesn't have white? white. Okay, good, good. It does not have white. Ah, uh, okay. It has. Oh! <gasps> As my land destruction version. Gasp! Gasp! He gads! Kefnet casualties. Ooh. Alright, well let's let's play a swarm guild mage and then pass the turn. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. And the spice now. I starts. love it. This is why I was like I was like, all right, when you blow up my lands, I was like, oh, this totally slows me down. A <laughs> little bit. Yeah, Ook in the seven drop. And then it's got this. <gasps> okay, okay. Yeah, it slows you down a little bit. But then we get to see all of this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Any card with the word ultimatum is, is a card I want to brew around. Oh, God. Well, the game's over, folks. <laughs> the game is thoroughly over at this point, but let's keep playing it out. We can see more. Uh, well, right on time. <laughs> Heraldic banner might as well, I suppose. And then you into yeah. Ramp more. All of the <laughs> ramp. <laughs> Why not? All right. So I take three from Ghostfire, two from Chandra, one from Shark. Uh, Rider's not six, so two from Rider. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think there is a single is card that can save me. Yeah? <laughs> the object is to get Shark Typhoon out, so when I play all this, I'm just making endless amounts of sharks. All of the sharks. Sharknado time. Jeez. <laughs> well, oh. Uh, Ugin's on lucky number. Yeesh. Uh, well, I mean, just just to be cute, I guess. Just to be cute, we'll play that out. And then... It was a land the whole time! <laughs> and then... Dead. Dead. Yeah, you have a myriad of ways you can take me out here. Alright, so while we're here, do you have anything that we can plug, by the way? Do you have, like, a, I don't know, like a YouTube channel, I, a Twitch stream? I, I do stream. I've got to get everything back set up because I just moved. And I'm trying to get the internet where it will actually run a stream and not lag. Fair enough. But it's normally just TP Lacrosse at Twitch. You, you hear that, YouTube? TP Lacrosse at Twitch. Bang. There we and go. If I'm, the shark and did if you guys it. guys join the chat just by the way, and I don't see it, I am blind. That's so right. I, I let them know how, how much I embarrass myself by being like, dude, why are you hitting me with Bowser? <laughs> Ooh. I see it coming, though. Yeah. yeah. He didn't see the joke coming. So. <laughs> I see what you did. I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, do you mind if we jump into the historic? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, yes. I love Historic, actually. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm actually not sure which one I'm going to bring out. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes I am. The cutest deck. Not the best deck, the cutest deck. Uh, let's go for... Uh, that one. Specifically that one. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that one first. We're actually gonna... I actually get to play one of my own decks. Oh, yes. That's nice. <laughs> See ya. So, have you, uh... Have you been enjoying the jumpstart? I just wish it had one more card. I want Bolt, okay? Oh. That is like my ultimate. Like, that is my favorite card. Like, uh. I have 
That is the only reason I went to four GPs last year. Dude. Because I wanted the, the, the promo foil bolts. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Dude, uh, in in my uh, Discord server, everyone has to have like a, a T1 name, so you can be T1... Ooh, which one do I want to do? Uh, that's not good. Uh, you can be T1 Lightning Bolt. I am down for that. Because oh, I'm actually another one. saving point to get the bolt sleeves in this game. Hey, let's get rid of you. See if we can see if we can get this to work. That's not what you want to use a seal away on, but I guess we'll take it. I guess. Uh, okay, so here's time for the cuteness. I don't know that you're ready for this. <laughs> Battalion foot soldier. This super duper bulk common. But it's like a squadron hawk. It's a it's a bad squadron hawk. <laughs> oh, I, I see the castle. I dig it. Uh, you know what could possibly go wrong? I guess we'll block. Sure. It's not like I don't have more copies of them. <laughs> and it dies. Wait for it. Oh, there it goes. Matrix. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. So, is there a goblin combo in Historic? I know there is in Modern. Is there in Historic? I'm working on it, but it's not going as well as I want it to. Fair enough. The one in Modern is like, you put Kiki Jiki on top of your deck, and then Snoop gets to be Kiki Jiki and makes a bunch of copies of itself, and I don't actually know what you do from there, to be honest. Uh, do you have to have, like, Sharpshooter? I don't know. So, the version I have with doing that is I play uh, Goblin Rabble Master, so he just gets super big and then I just oh, fling it to your face. That's fair. That, that, that'll do it. I, <laughs> I, I, have, I have fling in, the, in my sideboard, so yeah. basically you're like, oh, it's goblins. And then you're like, all right, so I just put fling in and then I fling it at you. Yep. And you're like, what? <laughs> oh, no. So, like... <laughs> that, that sounds silly and I love it. Uh, you know, I guess we'll wait. I guess we'll hold on. We'll hold on for just one minute, because I'm about to see a hasty goblin come out. Yeah, that sounds cool, dude. Are you, a, just out of curiosity, are you a fan of, like, uh, Jim Davis? The, you know, how he does Mog Monday? like Jim Davis, but I, I'm going to be honest, I really like anybody that plays a mountain, to be honest. If That's you can fair. play a mountain and then turn something sideways. That's fair. <laughs> For sure. My local store calls me the, like, every time there's, like, a beta mountain come in, like, they automatically call me because, like, I'm trying to build a collection of just beta mountains. Hey, let's see. Which way do I want to do this? Oh, man. Decisions, decisions. That's a technical magic term. Decisions. How about... I'm playing blue, so I like this decision-making. <laughs> we'll go you into... You. And oh. you. Yep. I, I added Thalia just today, just before we got started, actually. That, that's, that's spicy, okay. Well... I, unfortunately, I was a little bit too late on buying up Historic Anthology 2. With, you know, it's like 25,000 gold, so I, I missed it, unfortunately. Um, so I don't have but just the one. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I have a feeling Thalia doesn't do too much. She's just a 2-1 first strike against you. <laughs> That's probably about it. Actually, it actually slows me down quite a lot. Oh, hey, we'll take that then. Let's see. That's a lot... Like, out of all the white cards you just played, I'm like, oh, I thought you no. Know. Uh, that one. <laughs> I didn't know if you happen to have any uh, sorcery shenanigans. Like, you know, Elves has lead the Stampede and stuff like Yeah, here's my other Squadron Hawk. Just play all the Squadron Hawks. Squadron Hawk the deck. Let's let's go, I guess. <laughs> uh, I have a good relationship with that card. I when believe When that you. card came out in the Ixalan, I actually pulled six of them Jeez. in pre-release. Jeez. And I was like, all right, cool, we're just going to play just straight mono white. Let's just go get a conquistador. Let's do it. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, man. The, I would like to, if, if in Historic we happen to go back to, you know, they used to have Amonkhet cards back when the beta was doing its thing. Uh, if we could get 
uh, Oketra's Monument, which decreases the cost of white creatures by one, and then when you play a white creature, you get... Or when you cast a creature, you get a 1-1, one, one, and we could just spam these things. It would be so silly. See, see, see when I think Omaket, I think of the greatest card ever, Chandra. Yeah, she's, she's pretty silly. She's pretty good. Oh, let's see. I love how it gives me the option to put zero counters on Blast Zone. Uh, well, that's not going to last, actually. Let's do... Well, it doesn't really matter, because whatever I... Oh, I shouldn't say that out loud. Um, hmm, okay. No matter how I do this, it's not great. It's not looking great for me. So we'll put you here, you here, go hold. I, I have Banjo stuck in my head. You know, like Banjo-Kazooie? All right. Oh, there we go. That's not what I was expecting, but yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Yep, fair enough. I was expecting you to, like, throw a bunch of uh, gobos at me. Throw a bunch of mogs at me. I guess we still have time for that. That's what I get for saying something. <laughs> okay. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, ouch. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. <laughs> that, that narrows down the playing field some. Little bit. Little bit. Alright, let's take a look at this again. Plus one, plus one, double strike and trample. Oh, fun. Ah, uh, well... That is not fun. No, it's there not. no fun in the Not for me, at least. No. Oh, but I have memorial mana up. Okay, um, well, don't want to have to discard, but... What do we do? So, I guess first... First thing we do is we get a counter on a Janny. As you do. A Janny's baby. Hold up, Blast Zone... We're never going to get rid of that Embercleave. That's just going to be a thing from, till death. Oh, fun. Um, you know what? As, as much as I, re I don't like to do this... <sighs> Still want to get rid of that commander. So, we'll do this now. Thalia is actually hurting me, unfortunately. You, you see my hand. You see how many cards I have for it. Yeah. Yes. Ah, and then we'll pass. All right. I'll go this first. Yeah. <laughs> go for it. Ooh. Ooh. I, I love that. That's, that card is... Yeah, that is another four... Effectively four mana land destruction. You know what? I'm going to put zero charge counters on it. Just just for shiggles. Just for shiggles. Confirm zero. I was trying to be between that one and the glory. I was like, which one? I was like, Flash Zone scares me worse. I... Yes, I have a sneaking suspicion that's right. That's the right thing to get rid of. Oh, finally. There you are. Right on time. Uh, well, I guess we will... Poke. hi -ya. Yeah. Poke. And then counter. And then... Uh, no one expects the Legion Inquisition. <laughs> oh, no. Not after... Alright, let's see. Let's... Ah, oh, there we go. Oh no, that's a lot of goblins. That's a lot of goblins. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Krenko. Oh jeez. This is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. Well. Oh no. Let's see. Oh, I the wrong one drop. Oh no. Oh, oh yeah, I see. You mean the you need the firebrand. I have a sneaking suspicion I know why, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. So what do I what do I do? I can attack with healer hawk, put you to nine, twenty, seven, five. Uh when Cranko attacks, that is one, two, and oh, does it count other? Nope. Equal to Cranko's power. So put a plus one plus one counter, then create one. Okay, good. So it's not number of goblins. It's not that, Krenko. Thank goodness. No, not that this is all that much better. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, how about we play another creature, main phase one, because I'm, I'm very good at this game. And then, Healer's Hawk, Hiya, Punch, Falcom. Alright, it's not a ha falcon, it's a hawk, but close enough. Alright, here goes nothing. I forgot to play a second creature. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! You stop! You stop this right now! <laughs> oh no! The train is already stationed. <laughs> to be fair, if I get to play three drops that find a bunch of cards in my deck, you, you ought to be able to have the same privilege, I suppose. Uh, yep, Healer Hawk. It was going to be either that or Thalia, so I don't blame you. Oh boy. Matron, okay. Hey, fair enough. A one mana matron, right? She's getting ma- yep, <laughs> one mana matron. Oh, this deck is so silly, I love it. Yeah, I love this dude. No, where's the one I want? I guess I'm also a tribal deck. I just don't have any tribal synergies. Soldiers, man. And it's not even like we have... Uh, we, we don't have any of the payoff cards like you do in, in Legacy Soldiers or something. A turn... Se or a, a tier 75 deck. <laughs> Alright, so do I throw this Cryptic Caves out? I guess I probably do. Get rid of that. Probably. Nothing with trample. I mean, yeah, nothing with trample. It would be nice. It would be very nice. But alas. Alas. Alright. Play you. And. Let's see. I could make a Janny's Pride Mate bigger. Even bigger. All of the bigger. It's a very technical magic term. All of the bigger. Um, I can get rid of that. Oh, decisions, decisions. Uh, rip headphone users for just a second. Give me, give me just a sec. I feel like I have to sneeze. Well, maybe. Or not, I guess. Um... That could happen. <sighs> okay, you think. Hmm. Okay. Can go one, two, three, four, three. No, that would just kill me. That would just kill me. Okay. Uh, no, I think we have to do this now. That's unfortunate. Uh, you, 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 you. Ta-da! And then use this to get rid of Embercleave. Right. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. But uh, I think I lose if I let that get on to Krinko. Unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Alright, gee, I wonder what... Oh, yeah, you have enough. That, that will do it. I feel slightly less awful Four about me. Ah. So I guess the slight, ever so slight good news is that now I gain life off your creatures. And if you make one ones, that should keep us even for a bit. Not really, but I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic about this. As I see that you have Incinerator that's incinerating it. Yep, doing its job. Oh no! Jeez, dude. Yeah, the game. No. <laughs> yeah. The game's over, but yeah. <laughs> the game's over, but I'll just one. sit here and check it out. Yeah. <laughs> there it and goes. Go Hi, y'all. Trigger on one of the thousands, a million, one one goblins. 
all of it. Yeah, what's giving it Minter? Uh, Warboss has haste, that's right. Uh, that's right. Ah. Whale. I'm just, I'm just gonna do this to be cute, I guess. What is that? Alright. And I'll let you have me. Boom. Hey. <laughs> uh, still alive, somehow, barely. Oh, right on time. Right on time, five mana Johnny. Well, it's four, and then, you know, then Thalia. Thalia has actually hurt me quite a bit this game. Uh, That's why I was like, when I read it, I was like, wait, I don't, it doesn't affect Cycle. That's right. Dang. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I was like, I was, I was like questioning myself there for a minute. I was like, wait, does it affect Cycle? All right. So before I, before I go down, I'm taking you with me, Krenko. <laughs> and good game. Hello, Krenko. <laughs> you know what? Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> let Thalia get in there. Yeah. Yeah. First strike. Either way. This is the, uh, where you just mash the space bar. <laughs> so, I'm actually trying to do, uh, speed runs. I have to do this out of respect to you, Yes, sir. yes. I appreciate that. I have to do it for the land destruction of all the, oh, the land yeah. I lost in game one. Hey, that's, that's worth it. <laughs> that, that's, that makes sense. I deserve that. <laughs> all right. Just to get Shark Typhoon out. I needed the land. Yep. Can we do I had one, one in hand with Cash Reward. Can we do one more, please? I have a different deck I'd like to try out. Um, uh, if we have time for one more. Um, unfortunately, I do not because I have ah, to pick up my right. little one. Well, I'll, I'll give you a sneak preview for next time, real quick. So I, I definitely feel that. Um, when I try to do speed runs of MTG Arena, the idea is you start from zero wins and you have to get to 15 as quickly as possible. I play uh, Historic and I play Merfolk. So, because Merfolk is pretty, it, if it wins, it's pretty quick. That's the idea anyway. See, I like that because I have a Merfolk deck also. Yes, oh, Merfolk did it next time, but not yet. You you have your yeah. priorities in order, so I'll, I'll let you go. Thanks for being on, dude. I appreciate that. Anytime, sir. I appreciate the games. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't, I don't have a clue. All right, cool. So I haven't gotten any wins yet, at all. So uh, let's uh, let's actually try to get some wins. I guess I'll be a jerk and play more land destruction. <laughs> I guess I'll be a jerk. We're not going to do a speed run today, unfortunately. Um, although I guess I could because I have zero wins. But uh, I'm not going to do a, a speed run today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, hello. There we go. Touch screen. Got there. So the way that speed running works when I, I try to do this deck is uh, timing starts when you uh, get the when you hit play for your first match. Oh, oh, that comes in tapped. Ooh, man. Well, we get Paradise Druid. And we just hope we find an untapped land. So we have something like a 1 in 3 chance of getting one. If not, it is what it is. We'll play another druid. And then we'll get... Or we'll play Garuda. Oh, uh-oh. Well, gee, I wonder what they're going to take. Yeah. You bet. Uh, timing starts when you hit play, and it ends when you click, uh, click to continue. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got there. And you just do that for all 15 rounds. So it is one of those categories where you repeatedly have to start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Ooh, okay, that, that works. They got me. They got me, folks. We'll crack it now. Get a mountain. And then use those. Yeah, for druid. And I guess we could do the other druid, but I'd, I'd like to try to draw a card with Growth Spiral. So we'll, we'll actually do that instead. I mean, that, that pretty clearly signals, hey, you, have, you clearly have something. Oh, nice. Hmm. Oh, wait. Though I don't actually have any graveyard synergies in this deck. Mill. Mono blue mill. 
or uh, Demir Mill, excuse me. Oh no, Kefnet, why? That's okay. That's okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. <clears throat> Whoa, okay. Hello, my voice. Alright, so I guess we will go to combat, swing at you. Alright, and then play you, add you to hand, and thus get hit by Thought Erasure, and then let you get tapped. So cool. Now this is not a lot of cards, you know, left for us. Larcenist, okay. Uh-oh. Alright, fair enough. I had let it get cold. That's a shame. That is a shame. So we'll play the temple first, actually, for the Garuda synergy. See if we can... Aha! Yes. Perfecto. Alright, let's see what we hit. What's in their graveyard? Nothing. My graveyard is a Ravager Worm. Oh, heck yes. Um... Well... I guess we give it haste and have it fight. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. And then there goes Ashiok. At least that's the hope. Unless something goes horribly wrong with this one mana, then that should do it. Hiya. 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 Alright, that should do it. Cool. Cool. Alright, but we could always oh, we could always lose to some sort of Wrath. Oh, Thieves Guild Enforcer. You do have Flash. Uh-oh. So this is going to trade with a... Oh, no, it's not. You're just letting Ashiok go. I mean, that's fair, I suppose. That's fair. Also, eight or more cards in their graveyard is sort of a non-bow with Ashiok, unfortunately. A little bit of a non-bow. So, I don't... I don't know why that's there, to be honest. Oh, God. Well, I guess let's do it. We can go to combat first, which we will do. We'll go to combat, see if we can force out whatever they have. Brazen Borrower, okay. Just, uh, that works, I guess. Interesting. No, no death touch yet, thankfully. Alright. And then let's fire it at you for counter spells. Not that that matters too. Oh, yeah! Okay, there we go. So yeah, now we can't do a speed run because we have a win. So, oh, did I? I left the audio off. I'm sorry, folks. I'm so I'm sorry about that. That's my bad. All right, we can we can fix that. Let's try cranking it up a notch. Hello, there we go. A little bit. Hey, audio. Sorry about that. Also, next time, I guess, just to be professional, I should fade it in, instead of just doing it all at once like that. Okay, um, yeah, let's, let's go at it again. Let's just do it to it. The, the usuals go until I have four wins, I suppose. I can understand why they don't let you direct challenger friends to just get your wins. You can, fill, you can fulfill quests, but you can't actually get your daily wins. Okay, well, hmm. There's no ramp. This is an expensive hand. We'll keep it, though. Wow. Uh, we'll get some use out of that. I guess that worked. Jeez, I'm going to regret this. I, I feel it. Okay, Daxos. Okay. Alright, pass. Yeah, that's a lot of cards in hand. Let's see what they have going on. Is it a Janny? Um, I'll, I'll take it. It's a little tough to do that now, though, admittedly. Pegasus. And now we have to fire it off. Ah. I was worried more about Pride Mate. Giant killer. Tap target creature. Okay. That's not a super big deal against us, but that is something. We'll get that to hand. Might as well. What else are we going to do with our turn? 
Uh oh. I I may regret. Ah. Oh, okay. It, it hurts Garuda, but we're not getting there this game. Well, better late than never, I guess. Have to get an island here because Kefna. All right. Okay, let's see what you have. What do you have, opponent? So they can tap it with Giant Killer, and that still means they'll get in for four. Also, this makes colors I haven't seen yet, so that's interesting. All right, come on, top decks of glory. Top decks of glory. That's not a top deck of glory. Oh. Uh, well, in that case... Why couldn't they be artifacts? That would be nice. That would be so nice. And, except for Giant Killer, they all fly, so Tech Rift doesn't do much. But I guess we'll hang on to... Right. Get rid of their other colors. I mean, better late than never, I guess. But yeah, I, I need to find a way to kill that Giant Killer. Uh, actually, no, it's, it's going to be too late, because... I'll go down to two, and then they'll have three creatures, so that even if I block one of them, I'll still take two. Oh, but they left the Hushbringer back. I mean, it's too late. It's too late. I guess we'll fire it off, but it's too late. This only requires two and tap, so we're, we're kind of done. We're done, skis. They got me. They got me. That was good. That was good. That's what happens, unfortunately. I got a bit of a slow start. No ramp, and I went second, so... Yeah, it was just too slow for what they were trying to do. There's some decks where you can still get away with that, but... but no. Not against Mono White. Mono White. Well, I don't know. Alright. Constantine. Okay. No. Opponent goes first. I mean, it's everything. It has land destruction, ramp. They go first, and we have some scrying we can do. Sphinx is only a one of in the deck. It has diminishing returns as you uh, play more, because you only get the scry from it. Well, actually, no, you don't. You can scry three twice, but you know. Oh, no lands. At all. I want to be a little careful about this. I don't want to get greedy and have too many. So I guess we'll just keep that one on. That's fine. That's fine. That should be okay. Alright, so then we'll pass the turn. That does mean that the other two are just going to get shuffled in, so... Ah, it's okay, though. We have to have the green mana. Not really a choice. Green into Paradise Druid into... Well, actually, it's probably going to have to be a creature instead of land destruction right off, because that is a Scorch Splitter. Spitter. Sploop. Spelunky. No cavalcade. Okay. That works, I guess. No cavalcade. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Anything else? Definitely something else. Pack Mastiff. Okay. Well, this is not a cavalcade deck, then, I suppose. Why do I still have these on? I'm not even plugged in anymore. My ears can breathe. That's totally how that works. All right. So, since we don't have removal, we'll hide that fact for a bit. Paradise Druid, and next turn, we'll play a blocker. We'll play a Sphinx. Yeah, this is not a good deck for the land destruction side of things, in all likelihood. I'm just guessing. Hmm. And you're a dog. That's right. You are a dog. Oh, oh, th this may be a cavalcade deck yet. May yet be. Oh. Well, that's good to know. No blocks. We can't afford the block. Oh. Okay. So, unless they have... So we still block with Kefnet. They need two effects, Spitter and one other, in order to kill Kefnet with Spitfire. And even if they do, we get it back. So that's okay. 
We can live with that. I swear, lava coil. I swear. Alright, here goes. One. Uno. Anything else? Maybe? Just maybe? Because it has to be non-combat damage. So we'll block here, of course, as you do. And then they'll shock me. Shock. Yep, there we go. That's fine. Still worth it. We get rid of their creature. They don't really get rid of ours. Uh, but now we do need to really step it up. Alright. Take action. Yep. We will keep that. Cool. Cool to as evangelist and say, Cool, dude. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ro ro raggy. Just play another creature and pass. Let's see how long they can keep this up. So they can actually kill Sphinx if they dump into Pack Mastiff twice. So we're we're not out of the woods just yet. Alright. I mean, obvious block is obvious. And then dump into it twice. Use that mana sink of yours. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Alright. Whale. Whale. I can... I don't... Oh. This is tough. I can get the Ravager Worm out at the cost of two life. Honestly, that's probably where I need to be. It's going to hurt. But I think that that's okay. I think that right now that's okay. So pay two life. Get out the Ravager Worm. We're not going to give it haste. We're going to give it a counter. Although, it, maybe that wasn't right. Well, we're worried about them having haste, after all. So get rid of the spitter. Just fight it real quick. Come on, fight me, bro. Okay, so this gets it out of one damage plus lava coil range. If we can somehow manage to make it just a little bit longer, I think we'll be okay. I think that we'll be fine. But we, we're, we're dead to two damage to player spells. They've already used one shock. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, they're just going for it. I mean, yeah, we'll block, of course. Of course we do. See what comes up. What's the nearest, what's the most lightning strike adjacent card? Another pack mastiff. Okay. Well, there you are, bud. Uh, let's see. can't wait forever. How cautious do I have to be? Let's see, they Yeah, so we attack with Worm. Oh, Ketra, or Kefna's going to die again. Yeah, I need to put some pressure on them. This still leaves Blocker here, Blocker here. We do have to worry about Haste creatures, but at some point we have to start attacking or we'll just lose to top decks. So I, I think it's fine to do it this way. Alright. Oh, there's another master. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, sure? Okay. So, how much mana do we have? Not enough. So we can go... Rubble Reading Garuda, I guess? Well, this comes in tap no matter what because we can't afford to uh, do some shock shenanigans. Alright, so Rubble Reading. Let's see what I can put on top of my deck. Demolish Oketra. Sure. It seems a little slow, though, to be honest. Uh, I can't afford to... Yeah, I, I can't afford to attack here with any of them, nor can I afford to put Garuda into my hand. So we have to wait. Because if any creature gets through, I die to shock. But, it means that they can't pump up Pack Mastiff and- oh jeez. Oh jeez. Well, that's not good. Alright, so we'll reveal. Uh, 
you know what, now I can go Garuda into hand, next turn have Garuda, that means that one damage will get through, or I could go Rubble Reading, destroy another land, and then try to find something on top of my deck with Scry. Either way, I still am going to have one damage get through, so I think this is probably right. That way I can try to find, like, a Lava Coil or a Scorching... Oh, jeez. Uh, well, that is a removal spell, technically. I guess that is technically a removal spell. So, we'll hang on to it. Alright, we're dead to shock. Let's just hope that they don't have it. Do you have it? There it is. Good game. They got me. I tried. I did what I could. I did what I could. That was close, though. That was really close. Mono Red is generally very good against us because, you know, it's, a, it's an aggro. It's a low-to-the-ground aggro deck. So before we actually have a chance to, you know, get anywhere with blowing up their lands, They've already played out their board. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It happens. It is admittedly our worst, like, actual matchup, our worst common matchup. Um, but, you know, that's alright. That's alright. That's the joy of playing what's effectively a control deck. And we have enough removal against them. It's not too terribly bad. We run four Scorching Dragonfire, four Lava Coil. So it's okay. Opponent goes first. I mean, yeah, we'll keep it. I would like to be able to go on the play again, please. That would be nice. Alien style. Give him the hello. Oh, they mold. Okay, we'll take that. We'll absolutely take that. Uh, we'll save the Fabled Passage. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, there we go. Play out a druid. And then pass it right along. Oh, my Fitbit telling me I need to walk some more. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. Uh, so in this case, I guess I should probably scorch it. I can lava coil. I can use lava coil. Save this for a planeswalker. But I don't think that they're going to have too many of those. So we'll scorch it here. Does put me back a bit, but that's okay. That's all right. Could have demolished a land instead, but I'm sure they can. Oh, play enough. Oh, well, there we go. I guess we'll second verse same as the first. All right. Do this and get Groot into hand. Into the hand. Hello. Hey, there we go. Now, it is a black deck, so we could see discard, but it's also a champion deck, so probably not a dead white. There we go. Hey, that works. Okay, so I'm actually going to probably try to... Yeah, let's try to get Kefnet out first, because we have Rubble Reading in hand. This is a little bit slower, but they did miss a creature. Have all the lands, though. Hey, we got there. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, even if we didn't happen to find the land destruction spell there, we play Rubble Reading, probably find one or, or two to put on top of the deck, and then we just, you know, just let it snowball from there. Ah, uh, that's what happens when you kill their... They don't have many creatures because they're going to draw through their deck. They're, oh, hello. Brightness. They're looking for more gas. Oh, uh, yeah, and we, we didn't see any of the, uh, what's it called? Hateful Eidolon? The one, two for one? That lets you draw cards when a creature with an aura on it dies. So you draw off of even like dead weight and uh, not Myers, yeah, Myers Grasp, I think. Okay, you go first. Yeah, um, this is slow. I'll risk it. I think it's better than going to six. All right, let that come intact. All right, well. 
Diabolical follicle. Nice. I like the name. Alright, well, there's that. Like at, uh, Smash the Record, where they said, have a Rate My Tag contest. Oh, ooh. Nice. Well, in that case, I don't know if I'd like to actually get rid of one of them now. I will have to eventually. But for right now, we'll just add Rooted to Hand. I'm not so worried about the life gain, but I, I would like to use... Hey, Now it's out of range. Oh well. That's a good game. Good game. They got me. They got me. Ah. Oh. Well, I was kind of dead no matter what, because I didn't find another lava coil on top. So even if I coiled one of them, it still would have lived, unfortunately. Once it gets to 5 toughness, it is just out of range. Uh, trust me, well, given the way that the deck's built, that is not an early concession. That is a right on time concession. Uh, so this deck actually could run Blink of an Eye. That would be interesting. Uh, 2 mana return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, and then for 2 extra mana, the kicker, you can't- wait a minute. What? Maybe that's actually rotated, I'm not sure. But you can, uh... Uh, draw a card. So four mana, bounce a card, draw a card. You go first. Sure, with Sphinx this is eminently capable, and Growth Spiral helps too, obviously. I feel as if I'm one of the few decks with a companion left. Like, not few in absolute numbers, but as a percentage. Redburn Gandhi. You just don't see too many companion decks anymore. I, I see a lot of Yorian still, sometimes I see Luris, and very occasionally Garuda, but that's about it. Alright, so let's see. Two more lands, and a Scorching Dragonfire. That's actually pretty sick, that's pretty much what we'd like to see. So let's see, that puts me at, w draw a card, play a land, draw a card, oh yeah, so we're not going to have the Scorching Dragonfire on top for Capnet. It's still worth it though. Honestly, I don't think I'd change a bit. Well, I would change that. Just in case. Just in case. Probably doesn't matter, but just in case. Alright, cool. So we'll have that come in tapped. Yeah, Scorching Dragonfire should have come ahead so that I can use it in a pinch if I need to remove something instead of use Growth Spiral. Instead of using Growth Spiral. So I, I messed up a little bit there. For sure. For sure. Pass, because now it, it might actually be impactful if they have a pride mate. It's okay, I'll get there eventually, but I still should have done it correct. Oh no, this is the flyer's deck. Another healer's hawk. Okay. I mean, I'll just do it now. They're not casting anything else. Alright, Andrew's tapped. Cool. Alright. There's Dragonfire. I guess we'll get out another green mana, get out a forest, and then blow up a land and see if they can- wait, wait, Tech Rift is useless in this matchup, so let's try to get rid of some white mana. This could still let them play winged words though, so I have to be a little careful. If they have winged words in another land, I get punished for that, potentially. Oh, they have Watcher, okay. Cost one less to cast. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so. Lava Coil first. Then hold up Dragonfire. Yeah, I am a little bit worried about. I effectively did land destruction there because I made it. I made something that makes their creatures cheaper go away. Healer's Hawk again? Ay, 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 okay. Well, kind of would like to save this. Dragonfire. Yeah, we'll, we'll save it. It's okay, I'll, I'll take the hit. That's fine. Oh, hi. Um, let's put out a blocker that might maybe give us some more land destruction to work with. That would be nice. 
I should have actually destroyed a land because it looked like they got caught on two lands. If they didn't draw a land, yeah, it's okay. It, it's all right. I, I may have messed up there, though. Borrower. Yeah, I messed up. That's okay. Rubble reading. Do I do it again? Yeah, we do it again. That's okay. I should have expected Borrower. This definitely does not feel like a mythic to me. Flavorfully, anyway. Ah, they got the second blue. Well, okay, then. Do it again, I swear. Do it again. If they can let this thing stick around for just a turn, would have been nice to have that rubble reading come off of Kevnat. That would have been silly. In the best possible way. But I don't know that it's right to destroy stuff at this point. I mean, if they keep bouncing Kefnet, I don't think it's right to destroy land. I think it's right to just keep casting Kefnet. Just keep putting me behind, though. Ooh, Moo. Hi, Moo. So, first she makes it a 2-5, as you do. Uh -oh. oh, wait, can it not? Oh, and loses flying. That's good. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Get out of here. Keep you off of the elemental, at least. Take your violence elsewhere. So they can't cast Borrower unless they find another island. Moo, as long as they keep doing that, Moo can't make a 4-4. Four -four. Which is good. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. Bow to the howling wind. Alright. Here, we found a land. It's not great, but it's okay. We'll live. Oh, wait a minute. We can just kill Moo. No, no. Be patient. Uh, do I kill Moo or do I play Sphinx? I play Sphinx. They already know about it. It's alright. Oh, no. Well. Oh, no. That's game. They got me. They got me. I was dead regardless because I didn't have the four to pay for Dragonfire. But no, wait a minute, they wouldn't have had the ability to cast Eagle and uh, Lofty Denial. Alright, well if I had known, uh, what can you do? That was good. That was good. I learned something that game. Can I get to four wins, please? Maybe? Before the two hour mark? We're a little bit over an hour and a half in. Well, minus any cuts that are going to be made for all the setting up Discord shenanigans. Alright, let's see. Yeah, this is this is fine. It's nothing special, but ramp and land destruction in three lands. Oh boy. Tarin. Wait, this is a triumph. Play the triumph first. Always, 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 always. Always play the Triumph first. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hi, this again. Well, in that case, instead of ramp, we're actually just going to kill this thing now. I mean, that is negating my opponent's uh, mana. Well, it's not great. We'll live, though. We'll live. So put out Druid, as you do, and then just hope we get there. So now they have Counterspell mana. And they have to know that something's about to happen. Something big's about to happen. Oh! Oh no. 
Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Can I find a kill spell, please? That would be nice. Before it's too late. So I guess we'll at least deprive him of white mana, at the very least. Not that that does too much. Okay, lava coil, dragon fire, something would be nice. Okay. Well, instead, we have Kefdan, which is okay. I, sh I shouldn't rag on you. You're fine. You're definitely fine, dude. Ah. Uh... Poke. Uh, and that's game. That's game. Woo! It's a little too late on hitting concede. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Got me. Yeah, going on the draw, that hand would... Going on the play, that would have been really nice. Going on the draw, unfortunately not so much. I think we did about as well as we could. About as well as we could do. Alright. Well, let's stretch a bit more. As you as you do. All the stretching. I'm doing like the Dark Souls. Praise the sun. A Mustang runs free. Oh, yes it does. Okay. I mean same. We have a little bit more ramp to work with. Since we have so many lands, Growth Spiral would be preferred to Paradise Druid here. When you have an excess of lands, you play Growth Spiral instead. Because you're guaranteed to have another land to drop with it. Oh no. Not one mana, two ones. Uh, we'll, we'll wait, because we can use the Scry later on. When we need to cash in the Scry, to, when we know better what we need. Okay. Well. Uh-oh. 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 This seems really low to the ground. That's not good. Well, now we have to play this. Unless we were playing the Paradise Druid. Alright, let's see if we can scry into... Ooh, okay. Alright, this is going to hurt. Be nice if we could scry into some removal. All of our removal in this deck exiles, thankfully. Worthy Knight. Uh oh. Okay. Well. Any day now. Any day. So, in other words, we bypass this when it dies trigger. playing with a toy. Oh no, I had more. I mean, I guess we'll do this now. Now that it's a little too late. Uh, we need removal. Stat. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I guess we'll play a creature to block. Death Touch is a bother, though. Okay, I mean, I guess later on we can use Paradise Druid to block it. Just use the, the weakest link, the weakest creature. Maybe this stops them for just a little while. Probably not for- oh, no, no it doesn't. At all. Not at all. Alright, obvious block is obvious. Hey, Target Night Game, what? Death Touch and Life Link. Yeah. yeah of course it does. Of course it does. Well, um, that happened. Hmm. Let's see what we draw. Oh, no, we're just dead. Sounds good. That was quick. Actually, even being on the play probably would have been too slow for that. Yeah, that, that is indeed a weakness. And admittedly, land destruction is the kind of thing that while the format goes on, you get more tools. Well, actually, in this case, not that's not true because none of them are in standard from thrown on. But uh, 
generally that's how that works. You get more cards, you get a bigger card pool, you get more tools to play with, but toys to play with. Uh, but other decks can get, you know, tools that let them get lower to the ground. They become more streamlined. That's true for any format, but in standard, you know, it constantly resets itself. In historic, it's a format that's getting faster. Pioneer, modern. I don't think that's true for something like Legacy. Oh, jeez. We'll try it, but this looks really weird. I don't think that's true for something like Legacy, however, or Vintage, where Force of Will is a thing. All right. It's, it can be, though, to be fair. It can be. So we'll get... Blue, just in case Growth Spiral comes off the top. And, and Kefnet. There we go. All right, here goes. Let's see what we get. Robber of the Rich. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll, I'll block that actually. I don't think we're getting a land off the top. We did not. Okay. I was vindicated, I suppose. I think that that was the right play. Oh, again? I mean, you do you, dude. Now I have to be careful. Attacks if defending player has more cards in their hand than you. Now I think it's okay to let it be. I think. I think that we're alright doing that. Ooh, okay. I may have been mistaken. I may have been wrong. Oh, double land. Good. Good, good, good. Right. Just in case we lose Druid, we'll get a mountain. Ah, well, that mattered. Totally mattered. Hmm. We can use Tech Rift to blow up... Well, it doesn't matter. They have double mountain coming off the top. Let's just get Kefnet down. Good, Kefnet. Good, Kefnet. And then, I guess I'll hit for two. Alright, what are they going to do to a five toughness creature that keeps coming back? Also, I still have fewer cards than you in hand. You light up the stage, Robber of the Rich. It's a little bit of a no, though. A little bit. Oh. Alright, well, we'll make them make the trade and then use another card to kill it. No, maybe not then. What is this? Infuriate? Oh, right on time. That had to have been a mistake, right? Or they just needed to use spectacle, or trigger spectacle for it. Turn on, whatever. Right, one must. One more, Let's see if we can get there. Yes, I know what combo decks do. I know what they are. Often winning the game outright. Yep, that's the idea. All right, Scorpio or Pio? Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio or Pio? Scope, Scorpio or Pio? Scope, Scorpio or Pio? There we go. Nailed it. First try. No. Okay, so this looks familiar. Yeah, three lands, two of which are Fable Passage and Double Paradise Druid. It's triple last time, right? No. Whatever. This is this is silly. Ginger brew. Okay. Conveniently, that thing dies to demolish, so it works out for us, I suppose. But we'll get this out, and it'll go and get an island, as you do. Then we play forest. So I'll I'll wait. Oh, hi. Now we know what they're going to do, so just let them at it. Alright, island. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Alright, so Paradise Druid. Alright, please live. I mean, it's Hexbrew, so it'll live. And this is the Ginger Brew deck. All that glitters. Oh, fun. 
Yeah, we're not blocking that. Oh boy. Demo hey, yep, we're doing that instead. You start coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Okay. Just put that on loop. Alright, Ginger Brute. What you got? Oh, Lurus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Another Ginger Brute. Oh boy. This will be fun. Glitter can just keep coming back. Well, I mean, and it will at this rate. So, if they don't play anything else, then Kefnat actually will shut that whole thing down. So, we get an island. Even if they play Glitter next turn, if they don't have something else to pair with it, it's a 4 4, and then Kefnet can block that. Well, I mean, not really, because, you know... Uh, unfortunately, they can make it where it can bypass anything that doesn't have haste. So we need Ravager Worm for that. Oh, but they found another land, so... Glitter on Ginger Brute. Please don't have Sentinel's Eyes. Alright. So now, it's not out of Lava Coil range yet. It's not looking great for us. It's not looking great for the T1 team. I mean, they can still attack, spend two mana, attack for five. Yeah, okay. And then we need to find removal now. Or not, just attack with both. Okay, that's fair. I don't know why they didn't attack with both. Okay. Uh... Let's see if we can set something up for next turn. Get you. I would very much know, not those. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Nine. Let's see what we what we can find. Please find something off of the top. Demolish scorching dragon fire. Lava Coil. Those would all do it for me. Kind of, actually. Not not really. Uh-oh. Shadow Spear. The reason I say not really is that Luris can... Oh. Good game. They got me. They got me. They got me. That's good. That's good. I don't know what I could have done differently, though. Sometimes you just aren't destined to win it. Always look to see if there's something you could have done differently, but in that case, it seems so straightforward that I don't know what I would have changed. It's just, it's just how it is, sometimes. Oh, could I please find some sort of, like, I don't know, Garuda Control Deck, or Reclamation, or something like that. Wilderness Reclamation. I, I would... This is one of those, one of the few decks that actually would appreciate that matchup, especially on the play. Even on the draw, though, you can hit four mana before they do, and then just keep keep them off of it for the game. Not really, though, because they have counter spells. All right, the Ozolith, cool. Yeah, I kept a hand without green mana, but. I don't know. We'll, we'll maybe get there. We'll hopefully get there. Ooh, okay. That works. I'll actually play this first and wait. Okay. Yeah, fun fact about Stone Coil Serpent. You can tell that it's in their hand. Oh, there we go. Uh, because it'll uh, give them options even when they're all tapped out. It'll give them like a wait period. So you can tell that they have Stone Cold Serpent because it, it says, hey, you know, you could cast this for zero, which reveals, oh yeah. So there's that. That's not good. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate, I'd say. I'm not getting Garuda here. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Now, unfortunately, that thing does not have Defender. Or Boreal Grazer does not have Defender. Alas. 
Arg. Oh, hi again. Yeah, that's not good. This... At the beginning of combat, on your turn. Yeah, so we, we passed that point. Where's Demolish? There's Demolish. Okay, let's stem the bleeding a little bit. I would like to not have to deal with a 5-7, or a 5-8, rather. Ooh! Ooh, very good. Nice. Oh. So, uh, well, we could, theoretically, if we found the mana for it, be okay. We will not, though, so we're not going to be okay. Um... That does not get the job done, either. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We could use a 4 4 to stall for a bit, though. And I actually can cast that. So a 4 4 versus a 3 5. That lets me. Alright. It's cool. It's cool. Stalls the game for a little bit. Now, that's if they have any more pumps, then we're in a bit of trouble. And of course they will. Of course. Ooh. Story target. Ah, okay, okay. So it's just a 4 4 now. Hex proof. That's fine. No, it's not. Look at that life total. That's really not fine. Okay. So there's that. I guess we trade here, actually. Well, it doesn't matter. There's a great horn coming here in just a minute. This is totally a great. Oh, no. Ah. Uh... Well, now what gets me out of this? Literally nothing. No cards in my deck can get me out of this at this point. Certainly not that. Oh man, oh man. We're not having a great record today. Unfortunately, we are not. Oh. All right, we can do this, one more. Just one more, Lumas. Just one more, please. Por favor. Versus Arzeal. Alright. There we go. Oh, you get out of the way. Alright, cool. Ta da! Let's see. Selfless Savior. Dog Dead, maybe. Ooh. Oh. So, that, I guess? That looks fun. Let's go for that. Alright, have that come in first. Then I can go Lava Coil next. Oh, hi, Watchdog. I am... Hmm, tempted to save it for a, a pack dog, but I don't know that that's there. So... Maybe we fire this off now. No, no, we wait. We wait. We wait. We sleep. Alright. Oh, I should have done steam vents. Steam vents next. Because of the double blue. Ah, I messed up. So I'll end up having to take two unnecessarily later on. Alright. To play tightly. There's Luris instead. Okay. So, never mind, we still have a better target. At least. I guess I won't take two unnecessary or yeah, unnecessarily. Right. Hiya. Deal with that. It's a cat. Alright. Yep. So cool. They can get it back. They can loop selfless savior. That's a that's a bummer. That's a really good interaction. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get a creature out. And gee, I wonder which one it's going to be. Yeah, let's do Catnet. We know that there's a Tech Edge coming next, right? No, a Tech Rift, but it's, no, it, it's not coming next. We already, we've already drawn it. That's right. That's right. Oh, nice. I will teach you to oh, and they can do this again. Be careful about that now. 
Why are we attacking at all? I, I guess because self the savior can do its thing. Yeah, you might as well. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Now they can't get it back this turn. It does open them up for a turn. Um, we're at five. So we actually have to play the Sphinx here, don't we? That's unfortunate. Why am I even playing this game out? I should just concede here. I should just concede here. Yeah, I, I lose this game. So, that happened. On the one hand, you win 0% of the games where you can see. On the other hand, look at that. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. I had a feeling that that wasn't going to go too well for me. I got a feeling... Man. That's... That song, it's been a hot minute since I've heard that. Tonight's gonna be a good night. Alright, E Weaver 1314. Sure. Oh no. Opponent goes first. I'm crazy. I'm going to keep it. I would rather keep this iffy seven and go to six. An average six is generally going to be better than this, though, to be honest. An average six would be better than this. Or it's actually better than an average six because your worst card you get to throw away. Rarely do I mulligan, period, on here. Uh, we'll keep. It seems silly. It's because it is, but we're going to keep. We're on the draw, too, so we have a chance to work our way out of it. Rough, rough. Uh, sailor. Spectral Sailor. Cool. Oh. Hello. We're not going to get Druid down in time. In all likelihood. Yep, Sailor, we called it. Ooh, that's nice. We'll keep that. Skies. Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. It means we have to do this instead. Kill the kitty. It's a sky kitty. Catbird. That's too much of a clock. Hey, you again. That it still ends up working out for us. Kill that. And pass. We're actually not going to crack the Fable Passage here. Because no matter what, we'll have four lands next to- Oh god. You stop that, dude. You stop that. Actually, no, we might then. Just to make it a little more likely for us to find removal. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing that now. Okay, then the other one goes and gets an island. Oh, hi, we did find removal. Uh. Island? Pass it right to them. Oh, please put something else on Sailor. Moon. Oh, I should have done it earlier. It doesn't matter now. Okay. So things I can hit. Spectral Sailor or Fairy Miscreant. Either one's going to draw them a card. Alright. But now they can't protect the Sailor. Also, that's a little more damage. And Sailor can draw them cards. Oh, jeez. You stop playing stuff, dude. Please? Please? Jeez. I mean, sure. Blow up some blue mana. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Hmm. Actually, if... if that's fine. That's fine. I guess if I kept the land on top, 
I could have gone Guru to add Tech Rift, but that doesn't actually win the game for us. We're, we're dead. We lose. Man, this is a bad matchup for me. They get their stuff down earlier than I can start destroying, and they have more than I can deal with with my removal. Even if they don't have, uh, even if they don't have lords, they still just get there, poking me to death. That's pretty good, legitimately. Now going into sideboards, it'd be fine, but mainboard, no, we just don't have stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have enough, and we do have flying creatures that can block them. Not that that seemed to matter too much so far. Ah. Uh, that was a... that was fine. I don't know what else I could have done beside me. That's a Sailor Moon's name in non-North America. Yes, we'll keep. Sailor Moon's name in not North America. <laughs> Alright, so play that and pass. Give him the big hello. I have a good feeling about... no, I don't. I really shouldn't. I shouldn't have a good feeling about anything from now on. It's just not going to work out for me. We get an island here. Oh, okay, that's why we get island. Uh, get our color diversity going on first. And then Paradise Druid. Could have made it, no, it's fine. She can make blue anyway, so if we find a basic, we won't have to. Ooh, yeah, no, let's let that through. Ooh, choices. I have a few different things that I can do. Let this come in tap so I take less damage. I can blow up a land, which will keep them off of night shenanigans. No matter what, I'm playing that. Yep, we'll do this first. Uh. Yep, we'll blow up a land. I think that that's more likely to be the correct answer here. Uh, if they happen to be able to, say, like, dead weight my druid, that's fine. I can still remove their creature. As much as I would like to play Kefnap first... Hmm. I think this is probably correct. Oh, itchy. Ah, ha, ha. Well... Actually... Hang on to one of those. Could even hang on to both. Next turn I can go uh, removal spell, land, add Garuda to hand, and the next turn I can play Garuda. This looks weird, but I think that we can do this. It does mean that I'm guaranteed not to. Ah, uh, okay. Did they have another land? They did. Cool. Sacrifices a creature. Well, now we'll just kill it in response. Yes. And how much mana is that? Three. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine, I suppose. So play Kefnet, as you do. Ah, nice, nice. Uh, Alright, if I find a land, this does not work out for them as well as they might hope. Let's see if I can find a land. I did not. Found something else, though. That seems okay. Boom. Because if I find a land, I can play Garuda and then definitely get back Kefna. Oh boy. What's that for? What could that be for? Nothing. Okay. They're just doing it because that's the technically correct thing to do. Timur. It's two mana, two, two. Ah, uh, well, we didn't get there. That's okay. I'm actually gonna kill it now. Well, I can. Well, I definitely can. Because of its devotion being low. Alright, so we get Kefnet next turn. Cool. Easy turn. Did I tell them hello? I don't know if I did. I don't remember for sure. I think I did, though. I tried to. Okay. What do we have? Okay. Oh, nice. Do it again. Yeah, we'll absolutely have you go down. Alright, please find land. Please? Maybe? It is an instant, so I guess that kind of justifies the three mana. 
Uh, we'll play Sphinx first. They already have so many lands, they can kind of do whatever anyway, I imagine. Cry of the Carn- okay, do you have it again? Disfigure? Dead weight. Dead weight. Disfigure, okay. Nice. Nice. That works out. Oh, not the kind of land I was meaning, but I guess we take it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Blow it up. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Night. Okay. Well, we can't kill it this turn, but we can. Well, yes, we can. Yes, we can, actually. Si se puede. Uh, we'll... What's their life total? Should still be 20. Yep. Um, I think 5 is enough. Haste. Fight. Cool. And then, hi up. There we go. That gets out of Cry Disfigure. Murder. Okay, that works. Hey, that, that works. Never didn't have it. Um... I guess we can go for Garuda. I'll actually see if they can kill the Kefnet again. If they can, we'll just get it back with Garuda. I think that this is right. Gary. Hi, Gary. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Oh, yes. Yes, we will absolutely reveal it. Now it's time to really get silly. Uh, nope. We're good on lands. Let's just do that. And then fire it off again. And just tell the opponent, no mas. Ooh. Okay. So that would kill Gary and then give us something else. I think that's fine. We'll see. If, if they play another creature out, we'll be good. Ooh. You know what? Actually, this is fine. Uh, my life total is a little lower than I would like, so I'm going to hold back a bit. Alright. Got him. Here we go. And then, blow the next thing up. Ah, we got there. And, got there. That we sure did. Okay, it took forever. We didn't make the two hour mark, no. But uh, we finally got the four wins. Okay, uh, I guess... Off camera, I'll play a little bit more so that I can try to get a few more coins for the next jump start. So that hopefully I can just keep hitting that every other day. Maybe consecutive days because of how adding coins works. How I can get some more. You get at least 500 for your quest, then 250, 100 times 3, so that's 1,050. You can get up to 1,250 a day if you get a 500 coin quest. 1,500 a day if you get a 750 coin quest. Uh, so. Occasionally, I'll be able to hit two in a row, so be prepared for some more jump start, I guess. Why not, right? Get some variety in that, if nothing else. And some more cards to help out in Historic for some more brews. Alright, that's it for now. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye!